Okay, so let's first see how we can fetch the course from the REST API. So let's create uh, environment file. Then we can use export cost and environment. Here we can define two properties. So maybe site URL. It should be this one and then course URL. This can be uh, this one. Uh, actually, we don't need course here, so we can do it like this. And we can also use one for JWT URL. Maybe this one. All right. Now we need to go to our let's create provider first. So let's create a Ionic G provider auth provider. I think let's just keep it this way. And second one can be course provider. Okay. So now if I go to course provider, it, it is using HTTP client here. So let's create a new function here, get course. And then we can do this, uh, return this dot HTTP dot get and let's do this API URL will be site maybe environment dot site url plus environment dot course url okay now we can do api url and then in our course page we can do private course provider course provider let's define course here and then we can do this dot course provider dot get quotes dot subscribe then data console dot log data so now if we go to course page okay so we can see no provider for course provider so first we need to add it into the app module oh No provider for codes provider. I think we need to restart the server. So let's first add uh, import for HTTP client module. Then we will restart the server.
okay didn't get any error HTTP no access control is present on the requested source okay okay so I think we have entered the URL incorrectly so first let's go to environment.ts I we need to add WP JSON here this should probably fix the error so now if we go there we can see our course here one two and three so here we can see we have three course now we need a way to show these posts and for this we can go to ionic framework and uh, documentation in the UA components we can see which one we want to use <coughs> so if we look at cards maybe we can use this let's use lists here so if we copy this and paste it in our codes HTML we can see here we need to change it to codes this should be code and we will create it later and this should be maybe code dot title let's rename it so if we run it again I think quotes quotes all right first we need to assign this data this dot quotes equal to data so now if we run this we can see the quotes here actually this is showing the object so what we need to do is uh, data dot title dot rendered we need to use dot rendered property and we can use rendered so now if we run this we can see life and no title uh, let's add a title here second so now if we again run this we can see the three codes all right now we need a way to click on a post and see the deta detailed codes so what we can do is we can make use of our codes detail page so we can let's create a method click on show code detail and let's pass code here and now if I go to uh, codes.js we can pass code here and we can then do this dot nav controller dot push uh, then we can add code I think let's copy the name here quotes detail page and then we can pass a parameter as maybe quote quote all right now if we see when we click on life it changes to quotes detail page second but we are not seeing the quote here so what we can do is we can go to quotes detail page and here we can create a new property called quotes and then in here we can do this dot quote equal to this dot nav prams dot get and this should be quote and then if I console it out
it should show the single quote all right so now we need to show the quote here so for this we can use let's say different component uh, let's use card for this let's use this one and we can go here here we can use maybe quote dot title dot rendered then in here we can use this card component here we can show maybe I think let me see uh, writer and we need quote okay so we can use quote dot writer here and in here we can use quote dot uh, quote so now if we click on any quote we can see its details here all right so now if we add new one from the admin panel let's say uh, something is better so something is better than nothing writer is someone so if I publish it I can see it right away all right someone is better and this is the result so now what we can do is we can read the post we can see the code detail page now we need a way to create new code for this first we need to implement the login functionality and then we will create new post okay see you in the next video